Hello, so let's model this pipe connector with flange. Great exercise for the sweep command and extrude, pattern, fill it, and we'll define a plane within a sketch line. So I prepared this drawing here. Um, we got that side view, then a section view of our connector. There's an angle, 66 degrees, a wall thickness, 6 millimeters, a radius of that sweep path here of 122 millimeters. The thickness of the flange is 12 millimeters. And then we get those holes here. And they are 18 millimeters from the outside edge. And then we get that one millimeter fillet. We have one auxiliary view from that edge. And we can see that inner diameter of 66 millimeters. And which is then offset it with uh, 36 millimeters. On the flange, there are 12 um, holes. Okay, so I'll take that over here, that one over there, and I'll start with the sketch on the front plane. I press P to hide those sketches and to a normal view of that. And I will draw uh, an arc starting from the origin, going right, going up. Connect that here. and make one more line connecting to the mid point of that arc. I'll take those three with Q, I'll make them construction geometry, and then define that angle, 66 degrees, and that overall length here, 122. Okay, that's it for that sketch, and I'll start the next one on the top plane, and that will be a circle, starting here, and the dimension of that one are those 66 millimeters. I will offset that with that wall thickness of six millimeters and offset one more time for that outer diameter so that is 36. All right so now we get that, um, those holes here. So I'll just um, draw one more circle here. Make that construction geometry. Define that offset here as it states in the drawing with 18 millimeters. And draw one hole here. So the diameter of that is eight millimeters. And it's constrained here horizontally to the origin. Okay, so that's it. And now we can start um, with that sweep command. 
take that wall along that path. Great. Part one, I'll call that, rename that, call that pipe, and give that some different appearance. Let's keep those two sketches visible. And now I will extrude that region, that one, and that one. Going down, and the thickness of the flange is 12 millimeters. All right. The sketch is visible, so I'll make that extrude, that cut, removing through wall, and make a pattern right away, a circular pattern of feature, our whole axis is that one, and we get 12 instances of that. Um, okay, I didn't pick the right feature. I need to pick here the... Um, I had uh, make a, made a pattern of that sketch. All right, so we can apply the fillet of one millimeter to that edge, that here, and the in inside. And then let's mirror all of that to that other side. We need the plane, which is defined by this line. So I take the plane, take that edge, take the right plane at zero degrees. That is what we need. Now mirror of features and take um, below the sweep one, extrude one, extrude two, circular pattern, and the fillet over that plane. Accept that. Hide that plane, hide those sketches, and now we just need to apply that Fill it here and over there. Accept that. And that's it for our pipe connector with flange. Thanks for joining me here and talk to you soon.